Hi guys. Hello people. I'm Elena. I'm Lola. Today we're starting a new show. As you can see by the title. <laughs> this is a show, well, I think it's been on my watch list for a decade. <laughs> probably. I just never played it. <laughs> uh, um, honestly, so... honestly, yes. But like, I always knew about the show, mm. but like, I, I knew that I had to be a certain mood to play it because yeah. like it's kind of heavy and sad and stuff like that. But then we, when we started reacting to the shows, we always had that one in mind that we yeah. want to maybe react to it. Because and, honestly, uh, I don't know. It's if I been would. on polls many times, but like many other shows that have more seasons have been on those polls as well. And mm. like, I guess people would l- like more for us to follow a story that lasts for like, let's say, three or two seasons or four, you know? So it never won any poll. <laughs> So we have made uh, so the executive decision to not ask you anymore. <laughs> Just watch exactly. it. At least for this show, especially because we need something short. Yeah. Shorter. Yeah. We were contemplating briefly, like the new show came out, 1899. Yeah. I knew that it was coming out from the dark creators. And I thought like maybe that's going to be something that we can react to. But also we have no idea if anyone's going to want that. So let's just watch the show that we have been wanting to watch for a decade. For a decade, yeah. (laughs) Let's just let's just get it over with. (laughs) Let's see what it's about. So yes, this is Band of Brothers. And like you would think that we would know more about what it's about. Like the only thing that I know, or I think that I know, is like I think they're in a war. Like I don't know if this is World War Two. I don't know if I don't know which country. Vietnam. <laughs> I have no idea what like is this like even based on is, something is real. I don't know. I'm oh, like okay. I just don't know if I like I'm gonna assume it's in the 1900s. So like I don't think we're going no further yeah, back. That's on. I just know the main actor. I think. See, I was thinking about the actors that I know, and I just know that it's the guy from Homeland. Uh, that's it. Bro, yeah. Bro, 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 Brody. Brody. I think so. I thought it was. I thought he is in the show. That's it. Yeah. And I don't know. What else. Me, me too. Yeah. So this is kind of where my knowledge of the show ends. Yeah. I know it's emotional. That's what I heard yeah. of everybody who watched it. Uh, I mean, like what the... else do you expect from a show that's like based in a, a war. war? I think it's gonna be tragedy, probably yeah. tragedy. <laughs> so yeah. why are we doing this again? <laughs> uh, because I think it's a good show. Honestly, it has mm. such a good rating. I mean, it's not like you should judge every show by that rating. I do not. But I expect this one to actually be very good. I mean, it's ten episodes. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a mini series. It's like it's mini series. It's they told the story they want to tell in such a short amount of episodes. I think that's enough episodes to kill off every character that we're gonna <laughs> know. I guess, like legitimate. I'm coming into this. I think yeah. watching them as dead men. You know. Yes, it's except Brody. Uh, I said Brody. I think that's his name. Oh, maybe. I, he's not gonna die before the first uh, for, before the last episode, I guess. If he's you, the main are you character. sure that he's the main one? He's the only one I saw always. I don't know what else to tell you about it because we don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'm very excited to see finally after yes. a decade, I think, possibly yes. of this being on my watch list. So let's play the first episode. Let's see what it's about. Let's and see. Let's, let's see if enter we heartbreak. fucked ourselves. I'm sure we have. Like, I already think, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be emotional. The only question is, like, how much are, are they going to make me care about the characters for me to be, like, emotional about them potentially dying or something? Because I feel like... Uh, yeah, I, do, I, 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 I think there are just going to be many things that are going to be emotional and not just that. Well, look, if I, I'm going to... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to see people... They're going to have to kill other dying, people. They're going to uh, have to see many people dying beside <laughs> them. They're going to miss their loved ones. But... <laughs> Well, I like I gave this whole speech when we were like about Finland Saga when we were talking about how uh, you want wholesome shows. I was like, no, I like pain. I'm like, but I don't want to do this now. So like, <laughs> honestly, this show is different for me just because I feel like a decade for me preparing myself to watch this has been enough. So like, I know what I'm entering in Finland Saga. I had no idea. <laughs> Milna just saw an actor accidentally. She went to check the title of the episode on TV Time and because... saw an actor. She didn't tell me which one was, but she said, I'm going to be surprised. I have no idea who I'm supposed to be expecting. Now. <laughs> you are not going to uh, expect this one. I don't know which one. Like, so you know him by name. It's not just like that I know him by name. I watch him in one of my favorite shows. Is, it a, is this based on a true story? Because that's going to be... I think it is. Oh, that's going to be bad. I think it that's is. going to be bad. Okay, great. Oh, it like what a, oh, it seems like a, oh, I love documentaries, but like what? Never thought we would react to one. I, what is this? He says that you 
USA is in a war with Japan. Oh. We couldn't mm -hmm. believe it. Well, our country was attacked. Was this like it's Pearl Harbor? It what is this? It wasn't like Korea or Vietnam. We was attacked. And uh, they said, who would like to volunteer for the airport? We came from a small, small town, and three fellows in that town were, that were 4F committed suicide because they couldn't go at different times. I did things. I didn't do them for medals. I didn't do them for accolades. I did them because they, that's what had to be done. I said, well, you jump out of airplanes. You know, you got all your army equipment, and you jump out of airplanes to, uh, to fight the enemy. Because they said, go to hell. Nobody put up their hand. But you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it 100 bucks. Well, definitely not what I expected. <laughs> Uh, so at least some are alive. <laughs> at least, I, like, are these the people yeah, yeah, that we're really following? So, yeah, yeah. Like, are they yeah, yeah. our characters? See him. Him, that yeah, we know. Brody. Oh, I know this actor as well. Is that is that yeah. my Samwise Gamgee? Was that Samwise Gamgee, or was it not? Because <laughs> I might be making things up. I'm trying to figure out what actor you knew. Yeah, so far he wasn't here. So he might be just I like don't passing, know these yeah, people. Sure. Executive producer Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Why do you not know this? Oh! We knew know him from where I could not tell you. Yeah. The channel chose to sock Dan with rain and fog. I wins on the drop zone. No jump tonight. The base has been postponed. We're on a 24-hour stand now. Sergeant, take charge. Hello, Brian. They'll be fine. Not sure about that. The fucking mental state, like you're about to war, you're doing an invasion, you have to repair Black yourself, Black and then Black. like you don't. War Black in Chicago. Should have been born out here, thanks. <laughs> what, give up all this? I mean, he was born earlier, he would end up in World War One, <laughs> Or in like a plague. So, is it better actually? We'll go to Chicago, I'll take you there. <laughs> How Why much are we betting these two are not gonna see Chicago? Maybe at least, at least not the left one. <laughs> I feel like Brody God's gonna die, he's like the main one. When he like die? He's from there. Oh. Oh, him. 112 days of that son of a bitch and here we are. Oh. 20 years earlier, George. Georgia the state or Georgia the country? <gasps> what? What? I Ross, know. what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Why are you pretending like you're serious? Okay, Kira, okay. it's a drill. Second of two, fall out. We have two minutes. Private White, why are you not in your PT gear? Uh, I think sooner or later we're gonna see one of them commit suicide. Yeah, 100%. Because that guy already looks like on the edge. And he did say that some of them. Yeah, yeah. I think he said four of them committed suicide yeah. because they couldn't go. Not like after they went back, but like because they couldn't go. Well, maybe they can go the next time. <laughs> he runs like her boss. I know, it's gonna take me a bit to get him to go, like take him seriously. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be more than this one. I have to uh, is he who they were talking about in the beginning? I'm not sure, but like he's not in the... Yeah, yeah, he's not now with us. But sorry enough, already running up a hill, but carrying all this with you? No. Sir, we got nine companies, sir. We do. Well, I come we're the only company marching every Friday night, 12 miles, full pack in the Oh my god. Start. Why do you think right around? Janet Sobel hates us, sir. Janet Sobel does not hate Easy Company, Fred Brown. He just hates you. Thank you, sir. 
Lieutenant Winters, I want canteens out of belts with the caps unscrewed. Easy company, canteens out and open. Why? We're gonna go without water. Who is this? Christensen! Why is there no water in your canteen? You drank from your canteen, didn't you, sir? Lieutenant Winters! Yes, sir. Was this man ordered to not drink from his canteen during the Friday night march? He was, sir. Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. Fall out! This is easy company. And under my command, this will be the first and finest company in this regiment. Know the names of six men. Their infractions and your disciplinary recommendations on my desk by 0130. Is that clear? Looks like any six men. What infractions, sir? Think of something? Find some. Uh, now I'm gonna think someone killed Ross. <laughs> Like, there's nothing I can even fucking say to this training. Like, this seems brutal. Yeah. But, like, they have to survive a war. <laughs> like, I would hope to give them the Honestly, best possible chance even of surviving a war. Survive the training. I would, that's the thing. Like, if I you would... survive the training, you have a better chance of surviving the war. Is something gonna happen? record in the entire second battalion. I believe every bit of that is thanks to you. Didn't that Lieutenant Winters lead an easy company in PT? Winters. Yes, sir. He's a damn good man. I plan on giving him a set of these today. Why don't you do it? He could probably get a review. <laughs> Pornography, contraband. <laughs> He really doesn't want to give him the accolades, does he? And I will not tolerate thievery in my unit. Whose footlocker is this? Private Parks, sir. Get rid of him. This fucking extreme. All weekend passes are cancelled, officers included. Colonel Sink has seen fit to promote you. As first lieutenant, you'll serve as my executive officer. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I am designating you mess officer for 14 days. A special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. Would you agree? Yes, sir. What is a special meal? I like spaghetti. I already feel bad for them. Spaghetti ain't special. Change spaghetti. This is only for ketchup. What is change, girl? Is there a reason why it changes? Or just because he says so? Yeah, I was about to say, like, should I... Like, running right after you had a meal that is disgusting. Great, let me have an ambulance. There's gonna be no people to go to war. I can't figure him out. Like, I don't know if, like, the reason why he's doing all of this. Like, is because he doesn't want them to die. So he's being very harsh on them. Yeah, I think he wants them to be as... as Capable as they as, can be, yeah. yeah. But, like, all... He seems like he has PTSD. I mean, they did say that they're best out of Yeah, they are the best, yeah. I think that is kind of a result of this hard training. It kind of completely. Again, dropping from the sky today. Hopefully, under deployed canopies. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Is he not gonna deploy his? Is he gonna kill himself? And gentlemen, rest assured, any refusals in the aircraft. Or at the door, and I guarantee you, you will be out of the airborne. Are those dusty jumpers? 
Oh, we know here as well. Ah, y vuelve, ¿no? French. Oh! Are we running again? Yeah, I will fucking vomit. I will fucking be again. vomiting. Okay, we're not trying. Oh, maybe not. I would never be a fucking ease. Okay, we're going. This is a year, year later. Mm. I guess he's gonna die soon. Yeah, I'm assuming. Probably at the end of this episode or something like that. It's gonna be suicide. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't have to be. I'm just like because his face was. We're in the wrong position. He was jumping from the airplane. Like I think he has PTSD from. Position. From position. Maybe he was scared. I mean, they're all gonna die now. I mean, die in the straining, but. Yeah. Hmm. Captain, you've just been killed along with 95% of your company. You're in a lot of rumblings. So? Just talking about mm. that. So, it gets a little jumpy in the field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He gets jumpy and then you get killed. That's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has no other way if he's dying. He could just get fired. He has no way to die. Here, no. Yeah. If he dies, and like he already more. looks either dead or gone by 44. So either suicide or he's gone. Yeah, he's got no chance. Either the crowds again, one of us. Full soul? You know, I'm always fumbling with grenades. It'd be easier for them off my ass. <laughs> New York City, troop ship, England. Mm. We're making it up, my friend. Dear sir or madam, soon your son will drop from the sky to engage and defeat the enemy. Your frequent letters of love and encouragement will arm him with a fighting heart. Oh, this would be... I literally wouldn't know if you're gonna come back alive. This is horrible. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm glad I'm going to Europe. Hitler gets one of these right across the windpipe. Roosevelt changes Thanksgiving to Joe Tour Day. And pays me 10 grand a year for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> what if we don't get to Europe? What if they send us to North Africa? My brother's in North Africa since it's hard. Really? It's hot in Africa. Shut up. Once we get into combat, the only person you can trust is yourself and the fella next to you. Hey, if I'm next to Sobo in combat, I'm moving out there. <laughs> I'm moving up with some other officer like uh, Heidegger or Winners. I like Winners. He's a good man. But when the bullets start flying, I don't know if I want a Quaker doing my fighting for me. What is a Quaker? How do you know he's a Quaker? He ain't Catholic. He's Sobo. That priest is son of Abraham. Mm. What? It's a joke. Get your nose out of my face. I can't deserve that. So was lame. Oh, is he alive? I don't know. He's. Why is there a fence here? There should be no fence here. Tipper! Give him the. Who said that? Who broke silence? I think it's Major Horton, sir. A barbed wire fence! Oh, that dog just ain't gonna hurt. Hey, you got that bitch to get this! This is gonna backfire. He just might be discharged, but I feel like if Sobel is discharged, he's gonna kill himself. Yeah, maybe. Wonder seems very capable. And him, the main. Yeah, 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 Brody. I thought his I thought his last name was Winners. I was like, <laughs> imagine this just being a regular occurrence in where you live. <laughs> oh, hello. Go back the first way. <laughs> okay, now just wait until they pass and 
go through. You've done it now, Axe. You've captured me. Would that be the enemy? As a matter of fact, yes. Who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was ordered to, sir. By who? Major Horton, sir. Major Horton? Yes, sir. Major Horton told you to do that? Yes, sir. Major Horton is on leave in London. Hey, Captain Sobel's confidence, sir. What does it say? We spelled court martial. Perfect. At 10 hundred hours, I followed your orders to the minute. I changed that time to 0945. No one told me, sir. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. And sent a runner. No runner found me, Captain. Irregardless, when given a task to perform by a ranking officer, you should have delegated your task of retreat inspection to another officer. You failed to do so. Punishment for your offenses will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand before me at attention, or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court-martial. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, Dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. I have borrowed your pen, sir. My endorsement, sir. I request trial by court-martial. Yeah. I feel really bad for Sobel. Lost but the rest of the town in mess. You shit me. Nah. Straight in there. Well, let's try to figure out the procedures for his poor one. Well, Nick should better find a loophole to get him out. And if he don't, <coughs> winner scrambles eggs while the rest of us make the big jump with Sobel. We all better be clear on the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. Yeah. We could be lined up against a wall and shot. What the fuck do you plan to do? Face that. It's gonna be a mutiny against Sobel. I think so, yeah. I will not follow that man yeah. to combat. Uh, fair enough, like, it doesn't seem like a safe place to be. The Walking Dead. He died when Glenn died. Oh, Fuck sake. Oh, good. Took me half an hour. <laughs> I'm nearby. Mm -hmm. No longer will I be Oh my god. I didn't think they could get shot for that. Hopefully not. Get you all shot. <laughs> I mean There's nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the goddamn invasion of I Europe. I felt like jail. <laughs> Sergeant Harris. Sir, I mean there's not gonna... to let you gear. You are hereby transferred out of my regiment. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare. Which leaves me no choice. Spare your lives. Hmm. I can only speculate, sir. Most of the men would, would never do this. But I believe just a few of the sergeants may have felt their loyalty lay more to the platoon than to the company. And these few sergeants convinced all of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes. As staff sergeants, they have a great amount of influence, sir. But as I say, the rest are good men. I know them. I, I can work with them. Hmm. Yeah, there's 10 people and one person. Like, maybe one person could be the problem. It's been yesterday. Winter's court martial has been an unpleasant distraction. Indeed, indeed it has, sir. The division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Uh huh. Sir? School. Hmm. I mean. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. I'm losing easy company? War if it needs you elsewhere. Is who, who will be replacing me? Lieutenant Meehan from Baker Company is senior. Good luck at Chilton Foley, I heard. Don't let us down now. I want to say I will never recognize any faces. <laughs> They're all hopefully, white guys, and I cannot tell the Hopefully, I will recognize the main ones. I can, I can recognize the actors that I knew. Exactly. 
the rest of them, good luck. They're all they legitimately all Unless the same they thing. are honestly in every episode for ten episodes, then I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> See like is he one of the ones that signed it? I don't fucking know. die tomorrow <laughs> at least they'll get 10,000 Is going to say anything to you about his brother? No. I got a problem. My wife keeps up the things back home, cash and like that. Yeah. Going his brother in Italy? Henry? Killed in Money Casino. For me, I tell him. A couple of hours before we jump? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Channel coast to sock damn with rain and fog. No jump tonight. The invasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand down. Hell. Imagine psyching yourself up. Okay, so we caught up on where we started. I'm You look one age me. Is that not. Is that not your jacket or you have it in your pocket? Literally. Not the wrong goddamn jacket. Oh, okay. I thought. I see Bill though. That's what I don't know. I see Bill. I don't assume he is Bill. <laughs> Why are you staring into my soul? Not John is the one that got the letter. Mm. Okay, he's not Bill. Yeah. Where the fuck is Money Casino? Sorry about your oh, brother. Yeah, please. Sorry for my mom. He was, uh. I'll meet up with you over there. Oh. It's in the air. I don't know if it would be worse to be in the war or to have a loved one in the war. I don't know. I think like, it's I'm like thinking you're in the war. I'm thinking of like their mother sending two sons to war and doing the war. Imagine seeing all the dead people around you. Uh, I don't know. Killing other people. I'll see you in the assembly area. eyes are watering this would be fucking hell like god knows how many of them are gonna die great uh, if you hear music my neighbors <laughs> are having a party at 2 p.m on a Sunday. This I mean, they're not having a party. I, they, I, they, these are children. <laughs> like five years old playing loud music. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, so cares? we don't have an ambient if you hear this. Like, it doesn't go with the show at all. 
Um, but like the weather goes with the show. We have to turn on the yeah. lights in 2 p.m. because it really looks like it's dark. <laughs> Uh, this episode, this was a really good first episode to kind of introduce you to where we're yeah. going. Like, it's clear that like in the next episode, we're going to get into the... More. Yeah. So like this was still the calm before the storm, basically. Um, I mean, preparations for yeah. the storm. There was nothing calm in this no, episode, there was no if calm. you think about it. Um, but like they really prepared you uh, and they... Sh- I think it was very uh, well done. Mm. Uh, it you, seemed very yeah. realistic. You feel how they are preparing, yeah. me- both mentally, but like physic. I mean, physically, it was shown pretty well how yeah. they're, they've been preparing yeah. for the war. But like you can see uh, also how they're mentally preparing for what's to come. It is based on a true story. It's going to make it worse. Yeah. Um, and it does take place in uh, World War Two. This is the Normandy over what was it called there was a there was a name for it like in the, for the operation but i forgot when they mentioned normandy like that's when it clicked exactly where we are because i'm forgetting dates i'm forgetting dates uh exactly in what time what took place but like this was a very important battle and i think in my mind like it lasted pretty short i mean short it lasted for i want to say around three months so i'm gonna assume that's gonna be the time span of the um, Show. Yeah, Actually. like I think it's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere further from that. Mm-hmm. Like uh, after the Normandy thing happened, that's when we kind of. I mean, the Allied forces. That's when we get the kind of advantage because we were able to free uh, the that part of France from the Germans and then Paris Honestly, and then everything I didn't else. Think that we were only gonna be in the show for a few months. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was least thinking. A year, yeah, I didn't see them like go through all of that. You know. Well, I can't imagine uh, us... I mean, maybe we do. Maybe it's just like Normandy first stop. Uh, and then... Yeah, maybe not. I have no idea, honestly. Like, we have no... We don't know what's going to happen. What no, they're going to present in the show completely. But, like, honestly, I, I didn't imagine that it's going to be just like a few months. No, maybe it's not. We, we're uh, yet to see. We have nine more episodes. Yeah. They're really long. That's where we're at. I mean, a lot of people died as in any war but like we're gonna end up winning this we followed throughout the episode we followed over the span of a let's say a year uh, approximately well didn't we go was it 43 or 42 first 42 then 43 oh okay then two years maybe i don't know (laughs) we were introduced there's too many fucking characters that we were introduced to i can't differentiate any single one of them i know winters and i know sob honestly i don't know sober sober ross there's Sobble. a B. Sobble? Sobble, maybe. I'm not sure. One of the others. But like other, honestly, I, I can't say that I can... I know the faces mm-hmm. of many of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially the, because like many of them, I know the actors as well. Mm, yeah. uh, the thing, the guys that I know actors, I'm, I'm differentiating them for the rest. But like the others, I haven't... They all look the same. There is also so the guy is that is be... with Winters constantly. The yeah, here, yeah. I, know I, I think I can differentiate yeah. him. The one that, like, in the beginning scene, we saw them together and they were talking about... I mean, they weren't throughout the entire episode together. Yeah. But other than that, it's going to be a bit, like... (laughs) I don't have that much time to, like, remember characters and names. Um, So that's going to be rough. Yeah, I think for me it's going to be... They all look the same. They all look the same. No, I think they're they're not even going to be possible. that much. They're going to die either way. Uh, what They're exactly die yeah. way. i think it's just gonna be a matter of the episode they're gonna just show us many ways of how many of them died and what they did before they d- died you know how that whole thing looked like i mean it really the way this episode was like i mean i watched plenty of shows or movies or anything that like take place Especially movies during uh, yeah during like world war one world war two and then like any type of war um, and this one really, uh, really falls on the side where it feels um, very real- realistic. I mean, they are basing it on on a true story. I don't know how loosely it is based. I don't know if like winters existed. I like those things. I can't tell. I don't know if sober existed. Like those are the things that I don't know if it's like loosely based on things. Um, but, but it felt just very gloomy and kind of hard to watch at times. Like there are, there are these comedic moments by the soldiers, like they're making jokes sometimes Mm -hmm. and that's like funny. Um, and I laugh and I'm like, but I was thinking what a fucking horrible situation to be in. 
And, like, this is a type of situation that, like, you kind of have no options but to be in. You know, they're really, they are fighting the good fight here. Um, and often I will say that wars are pointless, and I really do believe so. And I think it's just, they shouldn't be fought, like, these wars specifically, like World War Two, There was kind of no other option than to fight it, because you are fighting um, against the Nazis who have committed crimes against humanity. You have to fight this fight. So just to watch that, it feels very uneasy because it feels that real. I mean, like, you know, yeah. these people, I'm just like looking at them. Even if they're you... going, I'm like, you're going to die. They know that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everyone kind of knew that during yeah. uh, any world war that we fought. Like, um, course, this was very... Of them survive, but like many of them yeah. died. Uh, this was very, this was not that far off in our history. Like, this is less than a hundred years back. Yeah. Um, and like most of our grandparents have lived through that. Like my grandma was very young uh, during World World War Two. My grandpa fought in World War Two. Like this is very this is very fresh. Like you have stories from your grandparents about yeah. it. Like and in any war, like countries suffer. And like in World War One, I, I know we lost a third of our population, which is fucking ridiculous. Uh, so many people are going there to die and like it's it, it, it is very much like it's kind of expected you know what you're getting yourself into and he's saying the winters saying i was it winters no it was someone else uh, like go sign up for the life insurance yeah, yeah. Uh, life insurance like let your families get make 10, sure that your families do get more. like like you know of course you understand it but like it seems so Cool. dark yeah. and and sad to talk about it in like such terms like go and fucking sign off um so that your families can get money after you die yeah it seems very cruel we had so sober so bill sobel sobel something like that him we had him as a character i was trying to figure him out during the episode because like he was very harsh on them but I he did create the best um like yeah like the the easy uh, Easy Company was uh, amongst the best. I mean, was the best. was the best. Was the, best, was the yeah. best. So, like, he knew how to, let's say, train them. Train. And however way, like, however cruel that looked and, like, it was. But <laughs> ugh, people are going They're to going fucking to war. war. Like, I would want them to be trained. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe roughly because, like, that gives them a better chance of surviving, you know? Yeah. So, like... Ugh, maybe that does justify But also, I think he was... Um, he seemed to have to... Maybe he has PTSD. Maybe he's just fearful. He doesn't seem to function well uh, in combat, let's say. Because whenever we're, like, stimulating combat yeah, or whatever, seems like he, he was... seems to shut down a bit. Yeah. Like, he gets lost. He can't follow the maps yeah. when he's supposed to be jumping. His face is terrified. He looked terrified. Yeah, he seemed like uh, he was a good trainer. He seemed like he was good for that, but not got good for battle. Yeah. He would get them all killed, and they all knew that and thought that. Yeah. Uh, so this was the best thing for them. Yeah. To be able and to I survive. Think, or... um, I think he was also sort of jealous of... Jealous or like... Yeah, I would say jealous of Winters. Uh, because I feel like Winters got a lot of respect from everyone else. Um, and when the other guy gave him... Uh, told him to give Winters his promotion or whatever. I feel like on like that's when I realized on his face it kind of to me looked like he didn't want to. Like I think there was that fearful jealousy or whatever of people maybe respecting him more than they respect Sobel Sobel that one. I I mean there were there were scenes throughout the episode where that was kind of confirmed. Like he tells him make spaghetti and then he goes and during the meal he's like let's go do the rounds knowing that he told him to make spaghetti for the for the guys and that's not gonna go well in the stomach after they if they're gonna have to run i think in a way he was trying to sabotage him and he improve the point i don't know i didn't I, feel that much that he was jealous I yeah. felt like he was there was some maybe insecurity about uh about how Winters was very capable mm -hmm. uh and and so Bull was kind of like he was good at some aspects but shut down in others. Uh, so I feel like there was some their insecurity mm -hmm. then because like even when he was uh telling him 
that he's gonna have to take a punishment i can't, i don't exactly yeah. remember what yes because like yeah. they were supposed to meet at let's say 10 and yeah. this one moved it to 4 uh to 9 45 yeah. and he didn't get word and like it, it was it was ridiculous like yeah. it was absolutely ridiculous it had no base in reality like those are the things that make yeah, me think he that he was to just punishing for yeah for nothing because so like he's able to yeah so like that made me think that there was some type of like a jealousy and insecurity coming from so let's say um towards winter he and then like he told capable. him just like just like and he knew that what he was doing was wrong because he told him just yeah. like just accept the punishment or whatever like he didn't think he was gonna yeah. actually accept being court-martialed yeah. so that they would like prove that this was wrong um and so he was surprised when when this one did that and that was kind and of that his... brought to his ending yeah that, that, that was the last straw i honestly fucking thought that uh if they i mean throughout the episode it seemed like there was they had to demote him in a way or like move him Definitely. somewhere else and i thought that if they did that that he might kill himself because i feel like when you are um a soldier and you do this constantly. The if you stop and if you like have to think about the things that you have seen, the things you have done, I I don't know how you function. Like I really, I don't know how people after war uh, are able to function at all. I really don't know. And it's not like in not even in this day and age, uh, like there's proper like therapy that is being handed out to people who come from these situations um especially not in like 1945 um so i don't know how you survive that to be quite honest i don't know if i could like if, even if you survive yeah even if you survive like sometimes maybe death is easier just because like having to live with losing like they're all joking here you know they're like making jokes eating together and everything and like Tomorrow you might see that person dead in front of you. And you just have to keep moving. And they will. And yeah, we're going to watch that. Yeah, and like you have to keep moving. And like how the fuck do you keep moving? <laughs> how do you like what what do you do with that? I don't know. Like it seems so cruel. And yeah. like but they have they have no other option. Yeah, and that's what I meant when I said like they've been mentally <laughs> preparing. I that that is exactly the thing that I think they are mentally preparing to uh to happen. Yeah. Not just for them to die, but like all around them to die. Um, there's this one moment where um, one of the people uh, got a note, I think from his wife, yeah. um, that says that Bill's Bill brother, brother uh, died in Italy. Mm-hmm. Um, and Bill, of course, somehow took the exact jack that mm-hmm. had that and read it. Uh, and I didn't think it was him because, like, when he went to give the jacket back to Johnny, yeah, yeah. Um, Johnny was like, oh, you read it. Sort of, like, if I knew that he read it and, like, the, the message was Maybe his he brother. did it on purpose. Maybe that was his way of telling him, you know? Maybe, but, like, why would that be your way of telling him? I don't know. Maybe it was easier for them to, then to tell him eye to eye. I have no idea. I mean, maybe I would never I mean, want to be a person very, who tells someone exactly, their brother is really, dead. He was questioning if he should tell him, and it's really, really weird for him to get that exact jacket yeah. that night. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't seem that surprised when this one gave him his jacket back. Yeah, he, didn't he just seem asked, surprised at all. Did you read it? Yeah, he didn't seem surprised at so all. So in that, that moment, that's why I thought it was. But like, just even that, like, I don't think that I don't think Bill. Maybe I don't know. I don't think maybe Bill is going to be an important character or whatever, but that's just like showing you you're fighting a war and also your loved ones are also maybe fighting a yeah. war and They're they could happen. die in any second and what? Oh my God, I could not <laughs> be, I would not be able to fucking keep moving there. Like I, in, in even like when he mentioned his mother, like yeah. he said, I'm, I'm just sad about my mother because like he was, I'm going to assume something along the lines of that he was, the good child there or whatever now he died and i'm the one that's left alive um it's just and i honestly it's not like he's alive right now yeah like he's one uh, her one child is dead and i'm one here fighting the war i could die tomorrow as well and he said i'm just sad uh, of my mom because like mom because like i feel like this is what he's preparing for you know, yeah. I don't think that's something shocking for him because if he's going and he's preparing that he's gonna potentially probably die, then he has to be preparing mentally for his brother also to probably of die. Course. Of so course. like it's I don't think this is something shocking for him. No. 
I mean, uh, especially at that point, you kind of expect it. Yeah. I mean, this is five years into World War Two. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's all just very fucking tragic to watch. Um, our main guy, he he does seem like the main guy, Winters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like him. Me too. Uh, he he seems very calm and collected, and he seems like a good leader. Yeah. And it really seems like he uh, takes care of his uh, soldiers. Yeah. Like when they were entering the plane. Like, he picked every single one of them up yeah. and, like, looked them in the eyes and sent them off. And, like, that that part, my eyes started watering at that. Like, I didn't know, I didn't even know they were watering at that. But, like, I'm just, like, thinking, you're gonna die. <laughs> like, you're picking them fucking up and sending them to possible death. Like, you Probable. did, let's say, the best you could to train them to prevent that from happening. But you never know. Like, you never know what's gonna happen. And, like, he's picking every single one of them up and sending them into the plane i thought that was like like, like a really good scene yeah yeah he was always next to them like always always running up that fucking hill i really appreciate the like camaraderie between the guys and like what they say i mean banded brothers i think that's Mm -hmm. gonna be our uh main focus on this show like it's gonna be war and all that but also the uh, the bond that they uh, those men yeah uh, make with each other yeah, and I think they mentioned plenty of times, like how when it comes to it, the only person you can trust is yourself yes, and the person the next to you. Yeah. Like you really do put your lives in the hands of these people yeah. as well. Um, and I do think that's going to be a focal point me too, me too. Uh, of the show because like it's not so much. I mean, it it, it, it is always going to be. It's going to be tragic, like the wars and everything. Like, it's going to be about that. But, like, at the end of the days, I'm assuming it's going to be a human story. Yeah, I think. About it, the people. And that's why I'm very excited for this uh, story. That's why I wanted to watch it for so long. Yeah. Because I think it's going to be about that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's going to be, I think, my favorite part of the story. Yeah. And because that's like we make said, it part we watched really many. To watch. Yeah, we watched many. Uh, wars war stories mm. movies uh, yeah. especially uh, but I think especially because this is prolonged this is 10 episode story you're gonna get to uh, grow with these characters you're gonna watch them for 10 episodes you're gonna grow to love if them I can differentiate their faces. Them. if I can differentiate their faces then I will otherwise I have no idea who's who <laughs> uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the next episode now that we have that we are going to Normandy. Oh, uh, our food is here. So perfect timing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.